another edition of 321 on Red Bull Indianapolis GP.com. I'm your host, Jana Strange. It's Indianapolis 500 Race Week here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and recently I caught up with 2004 Indianapolis 500 winner, Buddy Rice. All right, I'm here with Buddy Rice in the garage area at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Buddy, um, you enjoy riding motorcycles. Um, what kind of motorcycles do you personally own and ride? Uh, I have a couple little small dirt bikes and stuff that we go and uh, group us go and play around with, and uh, I have a, a couple of uh, custom bikes as well from like Gymnasty Customs. Yeah, you still have the bike from when you won the Indianapolis 500. I do have that. It uh, sits up in my uh, upstairs living room. Very nice piece of decoration. Yes, it is. Um, do you ever take bikes out and go road racing, or is it mostly, excuse me, dirt racing? Uh, I don't really do any racing. I just go out and do some casual riding. Yeah. Uh, would really proclaim myself as a <laughs> as a real good rider i just go out and enjoy the outdoors of, of phoenix and stuff and just like riding out in the desert mm -hmm. have you ever been to a moto gp event before i have not and we're hopefully going to see you out here for the red bull indianapolis gp on september 14th 2008 um you're a fellow red bull rider along with nikki hayden who's the 2006 um moto gp world champion and he was out here just a few weeks ago um, have you ever met Nikki before, any of the Red Bull guys, or how do you how do you guys all work together and come together for events like this? Well, I mean, it's always different. I mean, really what ends up happening is, you know, through the summer, most everybody's busy in the in the motorsports world as a general rule, so it's, it's tough for us to get together during, in season. So what ends up happening sometimes is Red Bull puts on events for, uh, for the athletes, and we all get together there. And uh, once in a while, we have uh, opportunities such as the, the Red Bull MotoGP here at Indy that we can come out and... And, and hang out. It's it's always difficult though because always one or the one or the people are working and stuff. So you don't get to do that too much. But uh, it's always good to take part in uh, in all the Red Bull events. And now hopefully we do see you out here. But do you plan on on making it out when you're not racing any cars? Do you like to go out to other motorcycle events? You own a go kart track in Phoenix. What do you typically do other motorized? Yeah, things? I mean I have a, I have a go kart shop in Phoenix. I spend a lot of time at the go kart track mm -hmm. and uh, doing stuff like that. And I go to a lot of different motor racing events uh, just kind of depends on what my schedule allows right now and, and uh, with with me having a new addition to the family it is also going to take up some more of my time but we'll just uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens we're predicting top speeds for MotoGP here at about 220 or so going down the front stretch off the record of course uh, what do you say the fastest you've ever been on a uh, motorcycle might have been actually it's probably not as fast <laughs> as you think I mean I you know run 80 or 90 or so I, yeah like I said, I mean, I have a lot of respect for, for the motorcycle guys and, and being friends with uh, with Eric and Ben Bosham and, and those guys, I mean, uh, it's pretty impressive. So I'm not I'm not one to really go out and test the waters too far on the on the motorcycle. So you get your thrills through Eric and Ben? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just watching those guys and, you know, eventually it would be cool to meet Nikki Hayden and stuff. But, uh, I mean, it's those guys, what they do is uh, pretty impressive. All right. Hopefully we do see you out here for MotoGP. But until then... Um your plans are the Indianapolis 500 and the rest of the IndyCar series. Um, and obviously, your goal is going to be to win the race again. But you know, what are you hoping to accomplish for the rest of the month before the race? Well, I mean, realistically, we need to still get qualified. We only have one day of qualifying, so we'll get through that this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, depending on the weather. And we seem to have a, a strong month. You know, I mean, our cars have been quick. We've been inside the top ten. Uh, last year, I was new with the team, and you know, we had a solid top ten going and uh, got crashed out right at the end. So hopefully this year we can uh, you know, be in the top 10, maybe even inside the top five and run with those big teams with the big budgets and uh, have a solid finish. It'd be, a, it'd be a great run here for us. All right, thank you very much. Enjoy your month.